everyone, welcome back. On the last video I was talking about the X-Tool air assist kit and I didn't show anything being cut with the air assist because I didn't have any material around and I'm still waiting for the honeycomb to come in my kit to help cut better and uh, I found this little piece of, I don't even remember what it was, thickness plywood but uh, did a little cut on it. Here's a little clip of the results, but there is a difference here. This is the top side. The outer edge is definitely more burned without air. The back side is kind of the opposite, but I think that's because I don't have the honeycomb and I'm just new to the laser scene, so I don't really know what I'm doing 100% either. And that might be part of it, but you could definitely tell the results are better with the air assist. And Jonathan Basham had a question about with the line attached, if it affects the focus or focusing. And it kind of made me think uh, some other lasers use a little spacer block that you put either underneath the edge of your um, shroud I think or actually the laser itself and some of the other uh, lasers actually have to manual focus by turning the lens and I don't know how they get around that when you put an air assist on it because you're covering that but the X tool has that little kickstand that flips down and that's really handy in general compared to just having to keep that little spacer on hand and losing something like that but with the air assist on there it it doesn't affect how that focus works on the X, X tool because it's right on the back side it's attached you just flip it down set your focus tighten the knob and you're good to go so that's another uh, bonus for the X tool in my opinion even though it's the only one I've ever used but it certainly is an upside for sure good selling point and uh, another thing uh, I can't think of the channel's name off the top of my head but I'll link it below um, he was talking about some things that are handy for uh, your laser setup and whatnot and he recommended a power strip that has uh, switches on each of the outlets so with this kit it's nice because I can turn the pump on and off at the power strip instead of shutting everything on that power strip off it's just the one plug so if I just want to have the like I have the power supply for the laser and another supply for my uh, laptop and, the, and a work light and then a couple extra spots that are open but it's nice so I don't have to have the pump on all the time or plug it in when I need it so that's another thing to look for and this is kind of a short video but somebody wanted to know about it here it is hopefully this helps answer your questions and maybe put some more thoughts about the X-Tool D1 laser for you. Talk to you later.